Hey everybody, Nathan Nelson here. Now I saw something on Instagram the other day that it got me thinking and I just wanted to have a conversation with all of you about it. And I'm gonna paraphrase here because I don't remember exactly what it was that the post said, but it was something along the lines of acknowledging your inspirations doesn't make you less of an artist, but stealing does. And well, I've got some thoughts on that. So if you guys got a few minutes, stick around, I'll share them with you. Now, I think I forgot how loud it is to create these types of videos in downtown Calgary with the traffic and the people and the noise and everything else, but it's beautiful out here, it's hot, and we're just gonna roll with it. Now, to get back to what I was talking about, I feel like I come at this from a fairly unique perspective in that I create content that creates an entire blueprint on how to create the types of images that I create. So if you go onto my Instagram and you see an image there that you like and you wanna know how to make it, chances are pretty good that you can come back to this channel and there will be a full on tutorial that explains the gear, the settings, the posing, everything on how to create that exact image. Now, because of that, I often do see carbon copies of my work out there on the internet. So that's just part of what happens when you create content that shows people how to do something. And I'm completely cool with that. That is how people are learning and that was the whole purpose of me creating this content is to help people learn. And not only that, I can't really say that I can even take full credit for every image that I create. Now I'm influenced like everyone else from outside things, be it movies, other photos, life, any of the above. And a lot of the times when I'm creating something, I will pull together what's called a mood board. And what that mood board is, is a collection of images or video, anything that can visually represent closely what it is that I have in my head that I want to convey to either the model or the makeup artist or the client or the stylist or any of the above so that they have a visual idea of what it is that I want to create. Now to say that that mood board doesn't have some sort of final influence on the final product that we create is not only crazy, but I feel it's a little bit arrogant. Now. I don't know what the answer is there. Do we credit every photographer or videographer that was on the mood board as someone who led to the, the final creation of whatever content or art it is that we created? No, I think again, that that's quite crazy. But I do have some thoughts, if you will, on what I think the answer is to this whole situation. And my thoughts on this are actually pretty straightforward as a whole, number one, aspire to create the type of work that people want to steal. If you are creating work and people are taking from you, that's usually a pretty good indicator that you're on the right track. And number two, create work that's so good that if somebody does take from you, you don't feel threatened by it. Now, if you see something that someone else has done that you feel was your idea, but they possibly did it better, you have two options at that point. Number one, you can use it as fuel. You can realize that you need to hone your craft. You need to do a little bit better so that you can come back to this idea and make it so that regardless of who else tries it, you've done it better. Or number two, you can jump on Instagram or your forum of choice and complain about it. And honestly, I don't think anyone really gives a damn. So with that being said, I would love to have a conversation with you guys about this entire topic. Use the comments box down below. Let me know your thoughts. I will reply to everything that I can. I feel like this is what YouTube should be a way to have conversations about the different topics that are happening in our lives. But with that being said, as always, thank you guys so much for being here. I appreciate you and I will see you in the next video. Cheers.